just a crazy upper body workout. All you need is one pair of dumbbells and an exercise mat and just a smidgen of floor space. It's amazing. They don't even have to be heavy dumbbells. I used five pounds the whole time. I got a ridiculous workout. So this is a workout with me workout. So I'm gonna do two rounds with you. So if just those two rounds are enough, great. If you wanna play it over again and repeat it, then do that. The first exercise that I show you is the one that's just for your upper body. And then the second exercise or the second round I'll show you is with a with your core a little more activated so you're getting more core and upper body in there. Don't forget to check the description box for more details about the workout. Oh my god, I'm like really pumped up. All right, see you guys on the other side. Round one, fight! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 30 seconds per exercise. Chest press, chest pump, skull crusher. Let's go. All right, so you're gonna get down on the floor. You want your back to be completely on the floor and pull your belly button in so that your lower back is on the floor. My knees are bent in order to help press my lower back into the floor even more. You want to start with the dumbbells over your elbows and you want to keep your wrists over your elbows the whole time. As you're pressing up, you want to try to squeeze your chest and keep your shoulders down and back. You still want to keep your shoulder blades squeezed together throughout this movement, and you're not worrying about counting. You're only doing this for 30 seconds, so just get in as many reps as you can. Then we're gonna put the dumbbell, one of the dumbbells down, and go into a chest pump, which is gonna get your triceps and more the inside of your chest. Again, make sure your core is tight and engaged, your lower back is pressed into the floor, keeping that belly button pulled into your spine. Still keep your shoulders back and keep those shoulder blades pulled together. You really want to press your hands together, keep your elbows in to your sides, and press the weight straight up into the air. Squeeze your triceps at the top of the movement. And then you're going to go right into dumbbell skull crushers. I'm still just using a five pound dumbbell and I'm bringing it slightly behind my head and then pressing it straight back up. For your triceps, you actually can lock out your joint for this movement, and that's full tricep extension. So if you want to keep that slight bend in your elbow like I'm doing, that's totally fine as well, especially if you have any kind of joint pain in that area. I also like to bring the elbow, <laughs> bring the dumbbell, not my elbow, um, right behind my head instead of to my forehead because it makes my elbows feel better. So try that if you get elbow pain from that movement. Round two. This time we're gonna hold a glute bridge for every single exercise we just did. 30 seconds each, so lift your butt in the air. Still keep that core tight, keep your hips lifted the whole time. This is going to force you to engage your core even more and it's gonna give you some isometric glute work, which means you're just holding that contraction there. So you're working your butt, your core, your chest, your triceps, and your shoulders. You're gonna do the same thing you did before, keep your wrists over your elbows, try to get in as many reps as you can. You really want to do this as quickly and as, as efficiently as you can to get your heart rate up there. And it will burn even if you're using a light weight, so just keep on pushing. For these, again, keep your elbows in. You're going to feel them in your triceps and it's going to hit your inner chest. All about that booby lift, people. All about the booby and then you're gonna switch right from the chest pump into a skull crusher. Remember bringing it slightly behind your head if you feel like you um, have a little bit of joint pain or you have issues with your elbows. And keep your elbows in here. You don't want them to flare out. As you get tired, they'll try to flare out. So keep your shoulders down, keep your elbows together and really squeeze your triceps and fully extend at the top of the movement so you get that full contraction. Make sure you're breathing. Heading into round three. This time we're doing a narrow chest press and a tricep extension. 30 seconds each, let's go. So we're still gonna be on our backs. You wanna keep your elbows in, grab those light dumbbells or heavy if you feel like being beastly and hardcore today. I couldn't handle anything more than a five pound dumbbell. <laughs> And keep your elbows close to your sides. You should feel them rubbing against your sides. Your belly button still pulled into your spine, pressing your lower back against the floor. You're gonna press the dumbbells straight up here. 
again this is for your triceps and your chest. Then you're going to get right up onto your knees. You can also stand up and do this if it's uncomfortable for you to lean on your knees or put all your weight on your knees. You want to hold your elbows out so that they're, your upper arm is parallel to the floor. So your elbow and your shoulder are going to be in line and your arms are going to be straight out in front of your body. You want to keep them right beside each other and move them at the same time. Here I'm using two dumbbells. They're two five pound dumbbells. It's getting really hard, so I'm actually about to switch to one five pound dumbbell, and then I'm gonna switch my grip to neutral. It'll make it a little easier to do the movement, but you really wanna keep your elbows up in the air, so it's gonna really work your shoulders. Keep your core engaged, and this is getting your triceps and actually a little bit of biceps, because when you're holding that position and pulling your arms back in, your biceps are helping you stabilize too. Round four. This time, you're gonna do the narrow chest press with a leg lift, and tricep extension will be the same as before. So let's go ahead, 30 seconds each exercise. Lift those legs up, and you're gonna do the narrow grip chest press, or tricep press. And as you do that, you're also gonna add a crunch in there so you can really get core. At the top of that movement, extend your arms fully and really squeeze your triceps as you squeeze your abs and push up to your toes. You're trying to get as close to your toes as you can, and you also want to keep your legs as straight as possible. This is going to help to engage your lower abs more than you were before. So also keep that belly button pulled into your spine. Breathe every single time you contract. So as you push up and crunch, breathe out, and then on the end, I mean on the way down, you're gonna inhale. Woo! If you're not feeling it by now, get your life together. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go right into the tricep extension again. Once again, you can kneel on one knee, you can kneel on both knees like I'm doing, or you can stand up. You can also sit down, just make sure you're keeping your lower back neutral by keeping your abs engaged and pulling your belly button in. You can also um, tilt your pelvis under a little bit in order to keep your, your back safe. So here I'm just using that five pound dumbbell. I'm pushing my hands together like I'm trying to crush the dumbbell between my palms and pushing it out, extending my arms all the way so that my arms are straight and I'm squeezing my triceps, which is the back of your arm, and then pulling it back in and pushing out again and completely contracting my triceps. Your arms should be on fire. If you like the workout, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you want to make sure that you don't miss a video. Until next time, I'm Ashley Briggs. I love you guys. Mwah.